Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today talking about why it's not a good idea to wait to purchase a home in a rising interest rate environment. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching my video blog today. You know, I've been getting a lot of questions from people lately about should I wait to buy a home if prices are kind of flattening right now? I know that maybe prices will come down a little bit. What should I do? Well, the good news is that in a rising interest rate environment, purchasing sooner is actually to your benefit, even if prices go down a little bit. And you know, right now with the market where we're at, I don't see us having a big crash or anything like that. We don't have a lot of the factors that happened before. What I see happening is a normal mar market correction where prices are just resuming its normal appreciation. We've seen really rapid growth in the last eight years, and now things are just correcting themselves. So <clears throat> here's an example of why it's not a good idea to wait, especially when right interest rates are rising. So let's just take, for example, I have uh, two scenarios here that I put together. If you have a 5% interest rate, which is right around where we're hovering right now, We've been really used to the 4% interest rate, but the interest rates have gone up 1% in the last year. So let's just assume that over the next year, interest rates are going to go up another 1% because they are planning to raise them another four to five times over the next year. So let's take that 5% interest rate for a $500,000 purchase. The payment for that is $2,147 a month, principal and interest only. Now, if you went up to a 5.5% interest rate at 500,000 with 20% down, your payment then jumps up to 2,271. Well, now that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's another $130 a month. Now, that same purchase price, 500,000 at 6% interest rate with 20% down, now jumps up to 23.98 a month. So, to put this in a little bit of perspective, let's assume that you've held that property for 10 years. Now at the end of 10 years, if your interest rate is 5%, you're going to pay approximately $203,000 and $80 in interest. Now let's assume that same scenario, the interest rate is now 6%. In this case, you're now paying $225,869 in mortgage interest. So just that 1% interest costs you an additional $25,000 in mortgage interest over just 10 years. Now over the total uh, of that loan, you would actually pay 5% interest, $417,000 in mortgage interest. So let's assume that you have this home for 30 years. So this mortgage, if you have a $400,000 loan, so you bought the $500,000 property, over 30 years at 5%, you pay a total of $373,023, total mortgage interest over 30 years. For a $360,000 loan amount, that $450 purchase price over 30 years, you end up paying $417,017 at 6%. So that's $43,000 more in just mortgage interest that you would pay over the life of that loan. That's a pretty good chunk. Now let's take a different scenario because a lot of single family homes are going to cost a lot more than $500,000 obviously. So let's look at a $700,000 home with 20% down as well. At a 5% interest rate, your payment, principal and interest only, will be $3,006. At 5.5%, you're looking at $3,179. At 6%, it's $3,357. So it definitely jumps up. Now let's assume prices go down to $650. At 6% interest, now you're paying $3,117.66 a month, just again in principal and interest. So if you look at that, you're actually paying almost as much as you would at 5.5% interest rate for that same property. For that same type of property at a 5% interest rate for a $700,000 purchase with 20% down, your total mortgage interest you'll be paying is 522232 
if it goes down to a 650 price with a 6% interest rate, 20% down, your total interest paid is $602,359. So with just a 1% increase in mortgage interest rate, you have $80,000 more in interest payments. And that's why even if you paid $50,000 less, you pay a lot more over time with that higher interest rate. So if you have any questions or you want to look at your specific scenario to see if it makes sense for you to buy now or trade up into a bigger home now, be happy to sit down with you and look at that and review it. See if it makes sense for you. My number is 562-316-2915 or you can reach me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends who may be thinking about waiting.